Hey guys, how's it going? We are back uh, with another unboxing. I know we're said we're gonna get them a little quicker this time, but you know, life happens. I'm actually down here, hooked up Studio South again. Uh, so I figured I got a little bit of time. Let me go ahead and get a couple boxes in here for you. Uh, what we have here, again, we have the Mystery Tackle Box Pro. This is the Bass uh, Box. This is August, so like I said, I'm a little behind here. So let me see what's uh, in here. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been uh, out, but I've been fishing not too much. We've been out in July and uh, we're able to get uh, some bass out in Kerrville for a little while, as I mentioned in the last unboxing. Did get um, a little bit on the worm, not much in the um, goals as far as the buzz baits and the um, spinner baits. A lot of grass. Um, probably could use a buzz bait, but I didn't even think about it. So. But we did get a lot on the uh, worms and a couple, a lot of blow ups on the frogs, but didn't get much hookup success. I think I had like one or two on a frog, but uh, so here again is the uh, September, I'm sorry, the August box. Uh, so again, as normal, anything else, we have the paperwork, um, what's in the box, how much it costs, supposedly how much it costs. Uh, we have a Loco 10 crankbait. Uh, this one's about three and a half inches long and as about five to 10 uh, feet diver. Uh, so this one uh, looks pretty good. I mean, I, I don't know about getting that much deep water, but uh, that one looks pretty good. It looks like a little uh, uh, swim shed. So that's kind of cool looking. Uh, we have a classic runner. Uh, this looks like it has a little blade, spinner blade, it's quarter ounce. Uh, has the jig head along with the lure and a second lure. Um, so that's kind of neat looking. Uh, looks like another flipping jig. This one's by Heavy Metal Tungsten, it says. It's pretty neat looking. Catch Coast sticker. Got a Booyah. Looks like a popper. It's a prank. Three inch prank. In a bone shiner color. This looks like it's uh, popping. If I guess if you work it slow enough or if you work it a little slower, it'll go just under the surface. I don't know if you can see that lip, uh, but uh, that's pretty neat. I may try that uh, in the next week or two just to see what happens at the local pond. Let's see, this is a little baby crank here. It's a two and a half by Lunker Hut. Looks like it's a wide wobble, it says. It's floating, so apparently this is a, you don't crank it too fast, it'll stay on top of the water. According to the back, it's two and a half feet uh, in depth, so that's about as far down as it'll go. But uh, I guess if you work it slow enough, it'll stay up on top. Got some Excite bait, some, uh, looks like some cross and green pumpkin color. So you can set it better that way. Raptor Tail Junior is what it's called. Some more cross here by Exopod. Look at it this way, you can probably see it better. These are three and a half inch. And let's look at this more paperwork. Yep, word of fish. I mentioned in the last one, I thought this was kind of neat. So it kind of tells you chatterbait, spinnerbait, Carolina rig, Texas rig, jigs, and the types of points or tips that may help you use these kind of lures. Um, so that's kind of neat. So that Booyah prank, I'm sorry, the Exopod here. Uh, this is showing about five bucks. Uh, this um, Excite bait here showing three bucks. This uh, local 10 showing about eight. The Lunker Hut here, this is showing about five bucks, five and a quarter almost. This uh, prank bait showing about ten dollars. I don't know if this is going to be ten dollars in the stores, but that's what this paper is saying. Uh, this flipping jig is showing about five fifty. And this classic runner thing here showing about eight bucks, which again, I don't think that's an $8 lure, but I could be wrong. So this is uh, September's uh, box. And uh, not too bad. I mean, I guess it's a couple of these smaller top cranks on top of the water. I think I would be using more than the other ones in this box. So that's kind of cool. Looking. All right, so that again, September box. And uh, we'll check it out. We'll get to, uh, Actually, I have a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and get to the August box here um, just to get us caught up here. All right, so this we have the September uh, Mystery Tackle Box Pro Bass Series. 
Um, and uh, let's take a look and see what's inside of it. Hmm, right off the bat, another crank. This is a one and a half crank, one and a half square bill. Yeah, this is a floating square bill. Um, I kind of like that color. I don't know if it would work, but it looks pretty neat. That is by Yozuri. We got uh, Catchco Guggen Squad Flat Banger. This is the, uh, um, let's see, two and a half inch. It's three to six feet diving depth is the color, or the uh, depth of the water. It's pretty narrow, but fat. So I wonder if it has a pretty good wobble through the water there. Same as before, we have paperwork, the where to fish. I'm glad they keep this going here. That's kind of neat to see where to fish and the tips. Um, this one apparently is specifically for a lure that's in here, it looks like. So let's take a look and see where that's at. Yeah, here it is, Weston Hip, Hippo, Hippo Twist, Hippo Twist. This basically, this paperwork basically says it is splashing, spinning, topwater bait uh, that'll gurgle and spit water. How it's gonna gurgle or spit water, unless it's from the spinning tail in the back, I don't know. But it's pretty long treble, uh, topwater bait. It is, see if it says it, how long it is on here. This shows to be four and a half inches long. So I'm pretty sure this will get nailed. That's probably looking good like them. As far as it came with, again, tips on that specific lure, where to fish, how to fish. Got some, uh, another jig. Apparently jigs are the thing in every box because I've gotten a lot of them lately. So this is an Eagle Claw Trocar JV Shuttle Jig. There are two of them. Yeah, two, quarter ounce size. Some hooks from Harmony. These are, I believe they're just regular worm hooks. Three of them in there. Hoax fish scam shad. That is the ugliest looking thing that I have seen. I mean, it looks like a half of a football. I don't know what the hell this is, but whatever. I mean, I don't know what it looks like, but or how it'll swim. I guess we can try it out. Blue and black. It looks like the color there kind of ugly looking and of course you got your normal stickers and stuff like that nothing crazy just uh, Mr. Jack box stickers Carl's stickers worm stickers just some uh, oh it says throwback stickers I guess that's what it used to have of course it has your tips and tricks paperwork and the oh look here's the hoax fish hoax fish scam shad uh, how to fish it I guess this one I didn't see has any of the um, cost paperwork so I guess they didn't want you to know that this is probably not uh, too expensive of a box but yep so there you have it quick easy this one here again is the uh, September box um, I would probably say this top water one is probably the one I'll give it a try before any other ones and see what happens so there you have it guys we are out of here and uh again we have the august and september boxes that have just been uh opened up uh, i am behind on some bass fishing we came down here to uh the coast see if we can catch anything uh we had a fly cast and lesson we took it straight out to the water didn't do too well but uh winds picked up just a hair um Tides are super high due to that hurricane that just came through out in Louisiana. I hope you guys, if you're in Louisiana, I hope you guys are made it through with no problem. But the tides are super high down here in Texas, so um, fish are scattered. It was hard to find. Uh, one 16 inch flounder, a few small specks, that was it. So I um, was hoping to get some good uh, content out there from there, but it didn't really happen. So maybe next time. Uh, I'll be down here pretty soon again. Uh, maybe we can get some more uh, saltwater footage. Definitely need to get some more bass pond uh, footage for you guys. So there we go. Plus, I need to get Eric out there. He's kind of slacking with me. So, all right, guys, that'll do it. I got to go ahead and load this truck up and head back home. Um, it's pretty 
probably about noon here and uh, I gotta get back home get ready for the week I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, I know I will try to get this stuff in the water as soon as I can keep watching keep clicking keep sharing subscribing if you can if you haven't yet already and uh, we'll talk to you guys next time